I feel like I'm already in love with Christchurch. It's giving me so cool vibes. Everybody seems really chilled out. That's such a nice street. I can't get over it. <laughs> still like an aftermath effect of that? Like, yeah, is there I mean, still people still homeless over it? I mean, lots of people lost their homes. And Hello, guys, and welcome back to a new episode here from Glen and Mado from New Zealand. And we're in Christchurch. <laughs> Ooh, we made it to the South Island, guys. And if you're new to our channel, we are currently travel one year here in New Zealand. And we are so happy and grateful to show you around this beautiful country. So and today, we're going to do our first impression of Christchurch. So guys, we're just we're staying on the outskirts of Christchurch, about a 45 minute drive in a place called Cust, and we're on top of a mountain at the moment. We're staying, we're doing a woofing. So we're staying, it's 360 degree view of the beautiful terrains of the South Island, and it's amazing. I'm gonna show you a quick shot of it. But at the moment, we're driving in the town. As you can see, we have some uh, lovely hills in the background, driving with house and estates, and this place looks beautiful and it's known to be beautiful and we're super excited to check it all out and walk around and show you guys an insight on what we're going to be up to in the in Christchurch. I just need to make sure I'm driving the right way and I don't crash and get distracted here. The Crown Plaza, the concrete jungle. It looks so beautiful so far. Oh my god, look at that. That is funky. Guys, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> That's the first of the first impression and obviously we're just driving so we're looking for a parking spot right now what i what Christchurch. i noticed so far everything is built up everything is well nice it's very clean clean we're on manchester street manchester we have a skateboard street. park over there so they look after everybody you know they build the facilities <laughs> for everybody so everybody's well looked after here in christ church yeah. show you this beautiful mural oh my god Guys, I heard that there is a lot of beautiful murals, like street art, on the side of outside of the walls here in Christchurch, and I'm really into that. So, and I've seen the first one, and it looks absolutely beautiful, guys. I've noticed all the street names are named after places in England, which is a bit of a funny one. They like to do that in New Zealand. They like to name yeah, the streets funny. out there. And guys, look, there's we're another. The, we're on the, we're there's the another train. mural. Look at this, oh, beautiful. We're on the tram now. To the right. I think we have to go here in this parking thing. Oh wow! Are they building a new stadium here? Seems like it. We're just here, literally on top of the car park. And I think we have a beautiful view from the top of the car park. It's decent, isn't it? I wasn't expecting that, no, to be honest. No, it's beautiful. Be able to a bit of, sun, bit of sun cream today is hot, oh, it's guys. It's very hot. The sun rays are really hitting me hard today. You feel, I can barely see. Look, my eyes. Guys, I'm super excited to check out your beautiful town here, Christchurch. Go, 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 go. We're well, being a bit cheeky. We uh, got a free hour and a half parking here above on the top floor, as I you see. Honestly, it's not really cheeky. We're paying a night. Yeah, yeah, if you're a member, you get a free hour and a half. <laughs> so we, the first hour and a half is free now. So happy days. So. I'm right in the CBD, so it's quite convenient. Parking is a lot cheaper than Wellington, so it's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's like only $4 an hour. Yeah, where are we going, Meadow? Uh, we don't know yet. Exploring. So we are like here in the Matra Street. Yeah, yeah. So basically the Snap Fitness location here in the CBD. And we're gonna walk over a Braura Park. Sounds like a son of man. Uh, there was an earthquake. It did have a strength of like seven. Afterwards, there was a lot of aftershock so over a year. So big, like it really destroyed the whole city. Yeah, so it's still beautiful, guys. They, they, they're really, really building it very fast, and it looks lovely. You don't really see much damage. There's some buildings still under construction. You can see, yeah. especially on the way in. We're actually going on the hunt for some buildings we can find that are still like you know demolished and you know destroyed by the earthquake in yeah. 2011. It's only what. A few 12, years ago, 11, it's not 12 so years. many, uh, yeah. not so much time, but like what really impresses me, how much they build up the city already from what we can see. And guys, it really reminds me of kind of a, like a European city. It's very modern looking, have, yeah. like, everything's newly built. Old wives and new wives, which is amazing. So you can see, look, see all the new buildings, the new architecture. That looks fresh as well. Nice shiny windows, good window, cleaning job, guys. And that looks fresh as well. Has a, I think it has a penthouse on top with some uh, some uh, lovely some flowers, palm trees. Oh, whoever lives up there is very wealthy. Man, look at all the graffiti over there. That is beautiful. That's so nice. That's so funky. It's like a really hipster vibe. <laughs> and it's 
honestly guys really reminds me of like a European city or like Canadian city like Montreal looks like this yeah it was very similar you know we lived there for two years and there's murals in the street out everywhere it's it's so cool way Montreal Quebec there's the famous tram the first sighting guys it is lovely looking look at that I think it's at the tour city one I think everybody's on a tour it's a tour tram actually it was a tram that was built in 1888 look that's a really old tram so you can take the tram and get around the city to the main locations and it costs around 30 to 35 dollars depending where you buy it and it's such a cool way to get around but we are like good by foot so we definitely want to see a bit more more details so we decided to just check it out by foot just back to the earthquake situation it was the fifth deadliest disaster here in new zealand they caused a lot of floods the power grids were down and also 184 people died which was obviously it's very sad moments in New Zealand history. Our first stop will be Pilgrim Coffee because we feel a bit tired and I need my matcha fix and Glenn has coffee fix and I read they have like really good matcha so let's check it out. Well I think we found a coffee fix location. Ah oh, they saw the same coffee. How are we doing guys? Well how's the day going? Pretty good. Just get a filter coffee please. Uh, this one here yeah uh, can I get a large please? Yeah, I appreciate that. What do you want, madam? I have a ice matcha matcha. Sure. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we got a coffee fix. You got your matcha. How was your matcha, madam? You don't know? All right, she was, I don't think she's impressed honest with that matcha. Reaction. <laughs> yeah, honest reaction. I like my coffee though. It's very fruity. It's lovely. Yeah, you only want the top quality now, so anything under high quality. <laughs> Matcha. I mean, it's a, it's like a blend. You want to have the pure powder and not like a blend. It's okay. If you understand matcha, guys, maybe a lot of people don't, but that's the story. Uh, where are we going? Right. We're just going. So I think for a walk. we're gonna actually see, which is so crazy. You guys have a piece of the Berlin Wall, and this is leaking. New Zealand actually brought a bit of the Berlin Wall over the Christchurch. I didn't expect you guys have a bit of a German history here. The wall that was like knocked down around 1989, wasn't it? 9th November 1989. Where the troubles kind of finished in Germany and they, they brought the city back together. There's a bit of the Berlin Wall from uh, from, from Germany. <laughs> That's insane. There you go, it tells you all the history. It's brought this far to the other side of the world, Madeleine. Oh, so I'm far away. Guys, I appreciate you guys brought over a piece of the Berlin Wall, but then now you have your own wall, kind of memorial wall here for the earthquake here in 2011. And we're definitely gonna check that out later in the video. I still can't get over the heat, guys. It's not even summertime yet, and it feels like I'm dying with the heat here. I don't know what the summer is gonna be like. But actually, Christchurch, that's the average temperature is 22 degrees, even in the summer. It's a very, it's not too extreme here in the summer, they say. But we have 24 degrees here in November. Guys. I'm mad. I'm born in here. I think I need a hat. Guys, gonna, do I, I, go don't, to I don't even want to complain. It's currently snowing no, it's, it's, in Germany. True fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's winter on the other side of the world. Uh, I think we need to go to an up store and grab a, a cheap hat because this sun is blinding me like mad here. <laughs> I'm always forgetting my hats and me, my sunglasses. Madeline's always prepared German efficiency over here. What? So, look, it is pretty quiet around here though but it's still beautiful. The funny part is, this is as busy as Christchurch will become, <laughs> but there is a lot of events on, there is a lot of festivals and concerts during the summertime here in the city, and I would like to attend one, but we just don't know where we're gonna be yeah. in the next week, so. So the population is like 400,000. yeah. Which is like. Really so this is the busiest it will become, and it is the most populated place in the South Island, so. You guys, it's giving me so many European vibes. Oh my God, that looks like Dublin we city like, center. <laughs> guys, if you have not been to Dublin, this could be like similar to it because there's so many old buildings, new buildings, kind of a lot of European city have that. And we also have these pedestrian walks, which is so common in most cities. And there's another tram. That Actually, looks like, uh, looks like a Henry Street. Walk, no? Looks like Henry Street in uh, Dublin, where the Lewis actually passes at the exact same point. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks like Henry Street, and the Lewis passes by Henry Street here in front. Sorry guys, if you haven't been to Ireland, I'm talking about a street in there in Dublin. But we're walking through, I think, the commercial point here in the CBD. Oh, and it's really, really clean. It's very beautifully designed. It looks fresh out of the packet because it's only built recently. So 
out of the packet. Yeah, the it is fresh. You can see it's it's all newly built. It's so nice though. Oh, all the buildings I'm are brand new. What it was like before. I've seen the images of the destruction and it was chaotic oils on how much damage was done to the city with nearly a seven maltitude uh, earthquake. So, how are we doing? Are you doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, what's your channel? Glenn and Maddo. Oh, we'll give you a follow. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn. take care, right? All the best. There's the Birkenstock uh, store, Madeline. <laughs> All the way under the side of the world. The funny part is everybody wears Birkenstock here in, in, uh, in New Zealand. It's either Crocs or Birkenstock. So yes. I'm wearing Birkenstock. They'll represent myself here in New Zealand. Maddo is as well. She needs a new pair. She wants to just see how much they are all the way under the side of the world. So look how fancy and modern this looks. That's a beautiful cafe yeah. with a marble finish in the ground, mm. marble floor, marble countertops. I think it's a cafe slash uh, bakery. We have to check out this very popular shop here, and it seems like a lot of people seem to like that. What shop are you talking about? Oh, Crocs. Oh yeah, there we go. Bacon stock and Crocs. Competition across the street from each other. <laughs> I never tried them on, so we actually have to go inside and I tried them on. All right, try them on. Oh my god, it was such a big selection here, don't it? Oh right, the croc moment. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure if I'm convinced. <laughs> These ones are a bit more comfy, I'd say. Like, guys, we haven't seen much yet, but I feel like I'm already in love with Christchurch. It's giving me so cool vibes. Everybody seems really chilled out. Yeah. Look, there's a clock tower built inside a big, huge concrete jungle and in look, the background. And look, there's another mural. There's murals so everywhere. Cool. I like it. It spices up the town a bit. It makes it look much more nicer. It makes it looks more beautiful. Very artistic town, yeah. Have a little flower in the background to acknowledge that Christchurch is the garden city of New Zealand. Oh, wow. That's what it means. That's why it was built in 2008 to acknowledge that Christchurch <laughs> is the garden city of New Zealand. Oh wait, this way, this way. Uh, what's over here? Such, such a cool city. Especially on a sunny day, Maddo. Mate, Everything the is sun nice Oh, very true, very true. You have a smitty little market over there, I think. People selling a few goods or merchandise. So there is some areas that you can see the damage still from the earthquakes. There is a lot of places under construction, as you can see over here. They're doing a great job in building the city back up. And big respect for the people to try to help it grow as fast as possible. I'm just gonna check out the square. There's not a lot going on. There's only three, three stalls selling some merchandise. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I think that's another flower to represent the, the flower city of New Zealand. So guys, here in the background, you can see the Christchurch Cathedral, and I'm pretty sure it was also destroyed in the earthquake. Oh, no. Oh, I can see it, yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of damage, so they put a paper sheet in front just to uh, obviously cover the damage, it seems. So let's walk past. God, look at this building! That's mad looking! That is insane! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so funny, all all so the buildings fresh. look all the buildings just look so fresh and new. I mean, of course it is. That's I the point. I think so surprised because it reminds me of a European city, you know? And then Spark New Zealand, the phone company has a big building as well for themselves. Yeah, yeah the cathedral is massive guys. I didn't expect it to be so big. Yeah, I wonder how long it's gonna take to reconstruct though. We could be really close to a place and I actually just want to check it out from the inside. It's a pub in a church and I find it so funny because we have that in Dublin and it's such a cool, cool little pub so we should check it out and see how it looks. It's here. probably expensive. It's just around the corner and I want to see how they made it here. All right, let's go. Everything's fresh here, look. There's another mural on the wall. That's so cool. The tram goes right through the center of that building into a little uh, mall kind of marketplace. That's so cool. I think that's the last stop. Mado, look at that. Is that a hotel? So this is like the church pub and it seems like it's also under construction, but I want to see it from inside. Under renovation, guys. Under renovation. Unfortunately, it ruins the, the look of the outside, but it is what it is. At least they're doing. Oh, wow. It's actually cool. Oh, there's nobody inside, though. Oh, nice. So cool, isn't it? Open yet? Uh, it opens at three o'clock. Oh, right. Okay. But if someone wants to get a second floor, but it's this is the size of it. It's super small. It's, it's really nice, isn't it? Wow, yeah. Ah, it really gives me like comfort. Yeah, this is like yeah, it reminds me. Typical. Oh wow, look at this. Do they sell Guinness now? Yeah. Is the Guinness yeah. any good? Uh, here, yeah, they yeah. sell a lot of Guinness here, so it's pretty good. The ball does really good Guin
So you should check that one out as well. I used to work there. What's it um, called? The Bog. The Bog? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Bog back home. I know, the Bog, the turf, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the Guinness here, yeah, is pretty good. The Bog is pretty good. I always go there for Guinness and obviously here. People can bring their Guinness from, from there and go through there. They can? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're allowed yeah. to go in between the both, yeah, because it's under the same license. Oh, okay. Sorry. I had to check it out because they have like a, a church pub in Dublin. Yes, I went there. I know, way. Just thought we got the idea. That was a pretty awesome place and obviously one of the one of the women was uh, that works there from Donegal and Ireland so it makes the experience even better. She showed us the Irish pub next door and it really gives me obviously Irish country vibes in the little pub next oh, door. We have to come back Claire oh in the evening. They have like live music oh, I think, every beautiful. night. Yeah. So cool. See, Guys, if you impressed it, you definitely have to check out the church pub. It's definitely giving us vibes back home. So the owner uh, regrets not buying the the property yeah. he was actually getting quoted 800,000 New Zealand back at when it was obviously destroyed and now it's caught with a six million so big price difference just in a couple of years and that's normal everything has gone up in price in, uh, in New Zealand so we have a little obviously mall commercial area here I think probably this is the starting point of the tram and you can also like you see that it stops there yeah purchase attractions oh you can buy the ticket here for the tram I, I see. think all these people waiting for the tram I'm not sure if I'm gonna pay $30 though no, I think we're good and now actually there's more clouds so it's actually a bit cooler I find. Yeah, oh, this is really cool though, isn't it? An indoor glass house. There's a tattoo parlor next door. Sorry? I, I, no, no tattoos for me, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna check out the price of the, the tram, so it's nice. It's really nicely built. It's only fresh as well, probably built. Freshly built. Right, it's $25, yeah? It's $25. Yeah, and look, another thing to do is like the Christchurch gondola but you can avoid this fee by just driving up there to the viewpoint yeah or you can we should do that later the nice scenic tour with the gondola I actually don't know how much a gondola is it's 40 dollars oh is it yeah oh. guys we're just about to enter new Regent Street here in Christchurch and it's an amazing small street also just for pedestrians except the tram can go through which is so cool I, we also just learned that um, it's probably a bit busier usually like in New Zealand but like right now it's about so it's like November so a lot of people go in winter time somewhere to the beach so that's why it's maybe a bit more quiet now it's a bit quiet indeed I like to look so cool it's all the cool colorful houses all the colorful buildings it reminds me of Napier a bit because it does have a similar style in the town of Napier so but this is nicer this is definitely nicer so they have the famous Milo of New Zealand. They sell a Milo in here. Milo is very common here in New Zealand. Chocolate. I have like a mango ice cream here. Oh my, you're gonna get one? I don't mango. Know if I want them ice cream now or later. You're just fascinated though, aren't you? Your temptation is uh, kicking in. I know, my temptation. <laughs> Go. Guys, we have Rolikin ice cream here. Apparently, it's really popular. For me, it's just too early for ice cream now, but I have to come back later on for dessert and check it out. But like, that's such a nice street, I can't get over it. And guys, on the, just on the other side of this is the Oxford Terrace, which is kind of a beautiful kind of walk along the water, and that's what we're gonna check out now. Let's do it. Let's do it, Matt. There's a tram. Oh, there's a tram coming through town. The special moment, the truth. Just walk from the Oxford Terrace here to the Victoria Square and we're making our way down along the river to the memorial here in Christchurch. Oh yeah. And it's so peaceful and Look nice. Look at this guy go, he's gone fast. <laughs> he nearly killed you, Maddo. <laughs> Cheek of him. That's nice. Yeah. That's a lovely building as well. That's a concrete jungle. That's the Christchurch Town Hall. Then. Is it? Yeah. Um, we're walking through this lovely park. All the trees are nice and green. It's definitely the summer's coming around, so. Christchurch Town Hall. Ah. How cool is this? Can like, you go down the river? But I have to say it's quite pricey, it's like $40. Ouch! Yeah. Looks like Venice. But it's beautiful though, guys. And like look what we just spotted. These kind of artsy arch. Arches? Arches? No, like arches. Some arches, yeah. On the on the footpath there. Yeah, so. With a lovely Let's casino in the background. Oh. Hope you're having a good time, yeah? Right. Looks relaxing. Better than driving. I say so. <laughs> Love the outfit. Thank you, man. Going down the river in style. He was giving free haircuts Wednesday at 10 30 a.m. So if you need a haircut, guys, this is the place to come. What is this place, anyway? Yeah, that's no, really oh. good. 
So if you're in town tomorrow. Yeah, we're actually down. we're staying like 45 minute drive outside town, yeah. so it's a bit. Oh, are you? Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. are you staying? Cust. Cust. Oh, in Cust. Yeah. yeah. For goodness yeah. sake. <laughs> I know, yeah. That's a long way out of town. I know. Town. Good it's such a beautiful city, we really love it. It's as yeah. nice now. Yeah. It wasn't Thank so you. nice a wee while ago, was it? Are you originally it? from yeah. Christchurch? No, it's in from North Island. Ah. North Island. Ah, there you yeah. go. South of uh, Lake Tapo. Yeah. South Island, North Island, Lake Tapo. Been to Tapo a few yeah. times, yeah? Yeah, have yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. We haven't got a volcano, uh, well, a live one, but we still have the earthquake. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Caused so, some destruction, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, sure did. But the town is really thriving again. It's gone really fast. It's good. Yeah, yeah no, it's a lot better than it was. A lot yeah. better. My was kids was, was, were only uh, seven and 12. Right. Yeah, that was, was a pretty scary And you were. You were living here at the time? Yeah. 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 And what was the worst thing about it? What went into a bit of a... Loss. People. People were lost. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, lots of people lost their homes and things like that, but... Sad, yeah. The people, you know, a lot of How people was the died. support from the government at the time? Like, did they help... Help, out help much people out, or...? Oh, they helped. They helped yeah. the imme immediately after there was yeah. a bit of help. The Marae were probably more helpful here in Christchurch, because Marae opened up and took people in and fed people. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. that's good. You know, Big respect look, for them. Yeah, a lot of people who were, you know, immediately homeless, um, that's where they got support, really. Is and it still like a aftermath effect of that? Like, yeah, is there I mean, still people still homeless over it? Yeah, we're still yeah. going through the recovery Yeah, phase. I think people are still definitely going through a lot of recovery. People, they never got insurance paid out through the yeah. houses they lost, so they were out on the streets and you hit the winter tree. We, Sad um, enough. we were building a new house when an earthquake hit and it destroyed our brand new house. We pulled our old house down and started oh. a new one. Oh my God. And it destroyed our brand new house. And then we discovered that the people, the contractors who had the contract to build the house, yeah. didn't have the right insurance in place. After about three years of fight, we just had to walk away from it. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it was pretty sad, right? Because we'd already invested a lot of money in it. We didn't get it back. Yeah. And then suddenly our land was worth about a third of what it was worth before the earthquake. So. But that's okay, we managed to stay strong, keep thriving. Buy another house, a little wee house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you know, the little things, but yeah, yeah. Roof over your head, you know, and I think that's the thing that we've realised is we didn't need that big house. What we actually needed was it's a little a house with a simple life, yeah, 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 yeah. A simple life. So that's what we've done. That's what we're thinking as well. Yeah? Yeah. Living in a mini house, yeah? Yeah. In the future. Yeah, I think when something like this happens, you realise what's really important in yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you do realise. And you know what? It's not a house. It's, I mean, a roof over your head, yes, but having a posh house and all the rest of it, no. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've never experienced it, and I would like to. <laughs> a roof over can... your head. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, and that's what we have to work towards. We have to work towards everybody having yeah, a roof yeah. over their yeah. head. So, so, like, this is like for the community. Everybody's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is everybody welcome then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody that wants to come and join us, we've always got, we always make space, don't we? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful, yeah. yeah. If we can, we, we should make for it For passport next week, yeah. that'll be good. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Be good oh, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, yeah. Yeah. tomorrow, yeah. And we'll yeah. come back in the town again yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. It'd be lovely to see you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we enjoy it, don't we? Yeah. We have a, we, we hang out, have a nice time and catch up with everybody. And, and beautiful. it kind of gives, the town's got a bit of a soul, you know? People need that, you know? It's they do. Get together, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Trying to get, we're trying to get a few bits and pieces growing, and we've got and we've got a few more bigger things growing over there now. But just making the most of the space while we've got it. Yeah. We don't know how long we'll have it for. Yeah. Council might decide one day that we have to be moved somewhere else. But it'll be sad, won't it? Yeah, um, we'll be sad. But you know, we just have to. I guess we just have to accept it if that happens, but... Time. Oh, I'll put my foot down. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go tell them what to do. We'll make we the most of it. John come here. Just keep making it look nicer and nicer, yeah, and then nothing. he can't say nothing, you know? We're just talking to, it's like a little community behind us. And that woman is actually yeah. helping the, the homeless community and the people that are struggling in the it area. It's amazing, honestly. And they you know, come big together. respect for that woman, like, because yeah. truly inspiring on what she's doing to the community to help all the homeless and stuff like that. So they have an event every Wednesday, there's about 20, 50 people, she said, that kind of gathered together. To 12. Yeah, at 10 yeah. 30 a.m., um, and which is tomorrow. Now we have to continue our tour, and it was so nice to experience a different side of Christchurch. Yep, a lot of it's caused by the destruction after the earthquake as yeah. well, so people kind of left in the some streets. Some people still struggle by yeah. that, yeah. which is interesting. It's people got highly affected. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're back to the adventure yeah. in the park here. We're just finishing up in the park and walking back out into the city. No, we actually can continue along the river now. Okay. Guys, the Pai Convention Center. This is a really fancy looking convention center, seriously. Like, how Beautiful, amazing. yeah. 
How amazing is this? I don't think we're going to show it today though. No, we're not going inside. We're just going to walk along the river. Oh my! This is so nice. There's another church and giving me really like Irish vibes. Guys, uh, we're going to finish this video here. It's been a long actually video, so we're going to actually yeah. continue on the next episode. Yeah. And explore the rest of Christchurch. Yeah, the Riverside so. Market and also the Botanic Gardens. And we hope you stay tuned for the next video. And thanks so much for watching. Catch you soon in the next one, guys. Bye!